Oh, hello. Oh, we didn't oh. see you there. Uh, I assume th- they he didn't either. No, <laughs> they must be camouflaged. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so today we are going to be listening to this album here by Francesco Jacchi. I'm trying to think. It's kind of like it reminds me a bit of early Nirvana, the riff. Um, yeah. Uh, but it's, it's cool. But it's got this, as opposed other than Nirvana, it's got this really, really studio sound. I really produce sound. You can hear lots of spoon. Mm. I think it's the, the drum patterns as well, um, less symbols, it's kind of all the tones. Yeah, it gives you the sense of something's about to happen. Yeah, it's not hit that climax. So. Yeah, as an intro, that's really good. Good. Like I like it. Yeah, as you said, builds tension for the rest of the album. Is that a chair squeaking? It sounds like a chair squeaking. That's a chair squeaking. That's, That's a definitely hundred. a chair squeaking. That's very <laughs> cool. I like that. <laughs> that is. I quite like that. I guess this is Pink Floyd influence from the. I only put it together after when the guitar kicked in because it's very David Gilmore style. But this, the sequence of the samples is kind of like money. Yeah. At the start of money. This is very Pink Floyd. Yeah. It's called seemingly meaningless. Quite a significant name. Yes. <laughs> Profound. That's uh, yeah, um, um, logic. Yeah. It's really nice. This yeah, it's really dramatic but quite peaceful at the same time. It's clean guitar and the drums are kind of relaxed, but well, not so much now, but it gives that, you know, that sense of calm, but the, the chords and the, the attack and there's lots of tension and built up to this. I sort of expect it to go to a different chord and then it doesn't, but then it does it later and it's like, oh, it was worth the wait. I like a lot of the voicings of the, the layers and stuff like that. I've heard Pink Floyd use that before and it doesn't seem... It, you know, it's definitely an homage, and 
it doesn't seem like, you know, oh, that, they're trying to sound, it just sounds like they're inspired by it, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's tastefully done. A-Y-U Kind of sounds very sad Oh, you Upset, upset <laughs> oh. I just thought it was an unfinished question Hey, why you? Hey, why you? Hey, why, why you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but a no at the end In brackets, I know Hey, why you? Again, no symbols, which is kind of builds up. Yeah, see, I've only I've only heard um, a few other artists do that, such as Old J, and they are uh, very electronic kind of produced thing um, uh, artist, and uh, they they blend this mix of guitars and keyboards and, and live drums with all this kind of electronic kind of vibe and it, yeah it, it kind of feels like that it's, it's a lot darker which I, I like anyway um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. can't be too jolly <laughs> can't sound nice it's, it's not realistic life isn't like that but, um, Very cinematic. The, the reverb, the percussion. It's not like a traditional drum set. Uh, yeah. It certainly it gives the impression of having been composed by someone who isn't obsessed with their own instrument. Yeah, they're not just writing parts for themselves. It's nice to see, for example, those keys in the background are really, really just in the background, and that's you know, it's a clever decision. I, I ne wouldn't necessarily have thought of that. And I like it. I thought it was going to be eight mile, but <laughs> mom spaghetti. <laughs> Expecting a, a double time there. Uh. I love that scene. Yeah. This is cool. I'm getting uh, <coughs> Lincoln Park vibes. Flanger. Yeah. You know, I try to... Yeah, I like how that melody's repeated again with the different technique. Yeah. yeah it's very cool. Like, it, for me, it's, there, there are a few sounds here that I'm, I'm hearing, as in what it reminds me of. And it's kind of been a, a merger of these things. And, uh, yeah, it's very cool. I wouldn't have necessarily thought to, to mix, say, that kind of choiry, soundy synth in the background there um, with this kind of rocky electric guitar kind of uh, uh, other layers. And yeah, it works really well. Yeah, it's this very, very nice choice of instrumentation. It's really easy just to go, oh, drums, bass, guitar, keyboard, whatever. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of different textures. Yeah. It's very 
three-dimensional, isn't it? This is uh, stuff that's clearly up up front, like the drums and, you know, yeah. uh, and, and the bass and all that, and then you've got all the synth sounds right in the background. Yeah, it's, it's very, mm. it's very well mixed, mixed, mm. produced. Words. This one is called Disruption. There's a lot of kind of yeah. The drums feel out of time. <laughs> there's slamming going on, definitely. I don't know if they're out of time, but yeah. There's, I guess it's intentional. So it's I mean, there, there are so many elements of that that are sort of abrasive, and it sounds like a. It sounds like a struggle. It sounds like you know, have you ever like picked up an instrument and just gone like uh, all the time. No, <laughs> I no, not today. Yeah. Um, this sounds like Frankie had that sort of day. It was like I'm going to record this feeling. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to capture it's, this vibe. <laughs> No, it's, uh... Yeah, there's definitely kind of psychedelic <clears throat> theme. I'm there. <laughs> it's, it's very, it's strange. It's yeah, strange it's, 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 it's kind of uncomfortable, mm. but I mean, if that was an intentional decision, that's really cool because. It's, it's an under, it shows a deep underst understanding of what yeah, I know. Yeah, it's very, very, very disorienting in a very... Yeah, it just <laughs> feels like it's, you're being squeezed out of a tube and you're not quite <laughs> at the end of the tube yet, but you like, you can see... Yeah, it was... Yeah, and the end just sounds like, yeah, fuck this. Just <laughs> absolutely, yeah, screw it. I just don't hang on this wheel. <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's like a shamisen, like a Japanese yeah, yeah. Again, cool voices, <clears throat> nice choices of instruments. There's a guitar that has been treated with reverb, so it sounds like something else. This one kind of reminds me of um, 
Pure Shores by All Saints. Another one from the beach. Sometimes it was just like a little, just, we just, you know, once every couple of bars and just, even if you didn't notice it, it's subconsciously, it keeps your brain feeling this is interesting because it's, these chords are just repeating. So yeah, it's just a really clever way of keeping everything fresh. There's lots of tension in that mode. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't resolve right away and you just kind of, <clears throat> yeah. And I like it as well because the, the, the vibe towards the end of the bar, the kick drum goes on all the eighth notes and it's building that tension. So as, as it doesn't resolve and it's building, like, yeah, it's very clever. I really like this music box and this style as well, yeah. It's, see that 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 is very firmly cementing the vibe of this kind of beautiful nostalgic feeling that uh, is being evoked here. That music box, even if you never had one as a kid, it just has that sound. <laughs> Happiness. No <laughs> button. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> Flamingo. Flamingo. Just the wrong colour for a flamingo. Discuss. Uh, <laughs> cordon bleu. Cordon bleu. Sacre bleu. Um, sacre bleu. There's never been a kind of sharp left turn at any point. Um, all the tracks kind of lead into each other really nicely, Ooh, which is diminished. Cheeky, cheeky little dim. And staying on the diminished chord for longer than you might expect. expect. <laughs> Doing things like that, staying on the diminished chord, will make it so much more rewarding when it does resolve. Um, yeah, there's lots of really interesting decisions made here, and it's it's really refreshing because that's you know it's what I get from listening to new music because you, you hear things that inspire you. You know, you're like, oh, that's something I can try. Something Flamingo definitely wasn't pink. So blue, it was a very cold sound. Uh, this one reminds me of video games. Uh, 
yeah, that place is dead. But it's kind of got a laser on it. This is cool. Got all There's a really low tiles. rumble underneath it as well. little hint at X-Files or something like that. And at the beginning there was a, 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 a bit of um, Tom Sawyer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very, very cinematic, as, as a couple of the other ones have been. Just um, by that, I mean, you can hear, like, with the production, it, it sounds so big and so massive. Mm. Uh, well layered, well panned, lots of, you know, reverb, space, room, and stuff. But the, the voicings, I keep going on about the voicings, <clears throat> but it's really good, it's really diverse, it keeps everything fresh. You know, you could have had the exact same album with less diverse in, uh, voicings, instrumentation, and it, and it could have, you know, could have fallen flat, and um, there's a lot of tension being built yeah. here, <laughs> even though it's kind of jingly, jingly noises. Yeah, there were pretty which, sounds, but it's still... Yeah, yeah. Sure, who the obviously who, who all their influences are, but um, it's it'd be really interesting to hear because there's some really really well placed layers here. That's uh, it's a, a definite theme that's been continuous throughout voicings, instrumentation, decisions made with those placements in the panning the foreground, the bottom in that just it's, it's just been very well done. I mean I I find it really impressive as well because it's something I really struggle with. You know, I've tried it and I know how difficult it is. Um, if if you, especially if you don't know what you're doing. But um, yeah, it's, it's very cool. And yeah, there's there's been the thing of mixing kind of synths with these, you know, tr more traditional band instruments, you know, drum, bass, guitar, these things. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very cool. Please, please don't stop talking about the voice. Okay, I might mention the voice. Obvious MIDI bass. <laughs> Phil, stop talking about bam, the instruments. Bam, 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 bam. Getting nighttime in the desert, driving not too fast. Not we got anywhere to go, but it's the desert. We want to hang around. Ah, oh, those bends. That's good. Yeah, it sounds like gear changes. A bit, doesn't it? Is that a synth? It might be a guitar go to an auto bar. Yeah, yeah. It just sounds like 
It sounds a, a really creative person all, all of a sudden had access to all of these different sounds and was like, Ooh. yeah, yeah. For me, it, it's creating a lot of imagery and it, it it's making me think like uh, Las Vegas when someone's drunk and they <laughs> and they're just like staggering through and they're seeing all these lights and it's yeah, it's it's got that nighttime city vibe and it's it's kind of disorientating. I, I think it's because. The, the melodies, there's not a lot of resolve there, or I don't know if, it, I, I, melodically I'm a bit um, out of my depth here, I'm not trying to talk about it, but there's, there's something uneasy happening, melodically, yes. like those guitars, they're not, they were just not really resolving. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> I like that. Are you still listening? Well, I'm going to do this now. Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> I'm sure I have this one's called Gegenschein, by the way. Gegenschein. Is that really? Um. Well, Gegen is uh, against and Shine is uh, like uh, light. Um, it's the best translation for that. Probably, probably glare or something like that. Um, <clears throat> let's see what, what Google says about the word Gegen Shine. Very smoothly from Gaiden Shine. Yeah, time. yeah, the, nice transition, no kind of mucking around. <clears throat> um, but yeah, the, the, the tunes have gotten a lot darker. They started out quite. There are a few that were quite beautiful, and these are not so many, they're not good. There is they, ugliness being used very effectively yeah, yeah, in yeah. these. Um, they got meaner, got yeah. darker. Um, the um, sort of the musical equivalent of this facial expression. Maybe with the little almost. They don't look like that. Yeah, they're definitely not this. The rhythm kind of is. <laughs> Drummer just went crazy for a set there. <laughs> Yeah, the, as, I, as I mentioned before, it, the, and it continues to do so, the album's got an excellent flow, and that's something I really value. I, I come from the days of um, listening to the full album. I'm quite a purist when it comes to completing an album. I don't like just picking out tracks, and uh, so it's very important to me that, well, it, it's much more significant to me when an album has a great flow. Something I'm gonna appreciate. Yeah, I hate it when uh, when an album gets muddled up because it, like sometimes your computer will randomly alphabetize it yeah, and yeah. then you put it on in the car and it's like it's wrong. It's all the right songs, but they're in the wrong order. Yeah, I feel dirty listening to it <laughs> like this. <laughs> um, yeah. Lerro. Um, I don't know if that's what would happen if Tony Blair went to France and was liquefied. <laughs> or he tried to start the a the Australian Union. Oh, the Australian what about e the e East Australian? <laughs> <laughs> Cut 
this... there's, there's a lot of this uh, sort of oh. relentless yeah, yeah, sort yeah. Of stuff going on. Yeah, it, it's it's very clear where the bar ends and where it, where it starts, and it, it gives you this kind of I don't know, like an egg rolling, uh, like woo. Uh, there's something big and heavy coming round. Uh, so not an egg. But you know how an egg would roll. Yes. Like if you put a stick through the middle well, of an we're, egg. We're talking like a five-ton egg. Yes, uh, to an ant. <laughs> I thought we were doing this review from the perspective of ants. <laughs> <clears throat> Those drums sound great, just the sequence. It still blows me away. But there's some really clever placement in the sort of really far distance. That, that, there's a snare drum there, but it sounds like it's half a mile away. The guitars are right on your face. Yeah, and I like how <clears throat> those layers just adding one one count after the other, and it didn't give you time to get accustomed to the last one. And just kind of building, building, just creates this yeah tension building. Very good at that. And this, this is another example of those effects that are, that are used that are not obvious to use in those particular sounds. You know, it was like a rocky kind of dark, hard rocky tune, and then you just get some crazy synth at the end. You know, who would come up with that? <laughs> but it worked. It worked best for it. I like it. Cold. This one is cold. The final track on the album. Who's being cold? The, uh, the second half of the album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there was a definite step into the shadow for the second half. <laughs> There is some James Bond in that in There's so much depth to it. You go from one part to the next, and the lead guitar is suddenly much further away and screaming. And these are <clears throat> these are little decisions that are made that have such a massive effect. And it's, I mean, yeah, I I I, I always admire it people's decisions in the studio because I'm not a, a studio oriented person in my brain it's not there yet but it's I, I always admire it and I'm able to recognize those things but I'm never able to come up with those decisions myself necessarily and uh, I always appreciate when people are using it tastefully and you know I feel you know I'm listening to it so then it's adding to my knowledge you know so it's it's, it's great. It's, it's the sort of <clears throat> the sort of composition that I think Rick Rubin wouldn't know what to do with. He'd, he'd be like, he'd be, he'd, he'd be wondering how how do I get this all to sound loud? It's gone very Iron Maiden. It has. It was unexpected, but it fits. 
Yeah, although it's a hard left, it was kind of a gentle left. The whole album has such a, not just a dyna dynamic range, but a spatial range as well. And it goes from really calm and beautiful to light in your face and tense. And it's a sort of emotional. An emotional roller coaster to use yeah, yeah. one cliche um, sort of expression. What what I really liked mm. about it as well was although and this is not a diss at all, there, were, there there was not very many parts where anything was being done extremely um technically. You know, there was not nothing ex very, very challenging to perform. But the 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 compositions were were really nice. There was a, a real clear understanding of, of a vibe or an emotion or a, a scene, a setting tr trying to be portrayed. It, from my perspective, anyway, it really seems like there was a, a clear kind of um, idea that that wanted to be uh, to be portrayed with each track. And maybe with the flow, you know, the kind of journey to take you on, and uh, yeah, it was it was really prominent, and very. It seemed really deliberate, and uh, I re that's something I I really like about um, artists and with with especially compilation like albums and stuff. Um, yeah, the, this this is definitely um, done by a composer, uh, somebody who's more on the side of being a composer rather than an instrumentalist. Um, <clears throat> a lot of very capable musicians um, tend to sort of focus on the, the instrument that they're most familiar with and, and sort of write all the parts around that. But that doesn't seem to, I don't get the impression from this, this, this is really... A what does she, do? I was under the impression she's a guitarist just from I've I've seen a picture of her playing with the guitar once. But, uh, yeah, but, what guitar and bass? Okay, um, but it, 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 just listening to the album, I could have said keyboard or she's a producer. You know, yeah. you know. So, uh, there's there's no kind of favoritism of, of instruments. You know, which I really I, I really like. Um, yeah, very diverse. Back to the voicings. <laughs> yeah, so um, this album. Um, Francesca Jackie, which is the only thing that it says on the album. So presumably that's also production the levels the through the roof, by the way. Yes. Filming the album <laughs> cover. <laughs> <laughs> I can, of course, insert an image. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, <clears throat> we'll put her. all her information, all the yes. social media sites, and how, how you can contact her, stuff that she's got. We'll put those on screen or in the description. So you can check those out. And anybody else who, who would like us to ramble over your music, um, we, you, can, you can help support us uh, at Weevil level on our Patreon site, if that doesn't make sense. Go and check out our Patreon site and we've got, you'll see all the different categories, Weevil being one of them. So, uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. Hope this has been torturous yes if you if, if you enjoyed this video then please um, subscribe to our YouTube and uh, click the notification bell otherwise you won't know when smash that bell like <laughs> smash the destroy yes. your computer no don't do that it's really hard okay so yeah cheers <clears throat> thank you bye